Yo, what is up squad? It's your boy Pinoe. Today was another slow news day, but we definitely have some stuff to talk about. So before we go any further, grab your finger, move it to the like button and click it. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. Now let's kick this thing off. Everybody knows Charlie Brown and the Peanuts gang, and for today we start with a look at the Peanuts Blends Vans Vault Skate High Reissue Zip collaboration. This very special Skate High reissue zip features a black tumbled leather upper accented by a white tumbled leather bone jazz stripe with the iconic Snoopy character laying at the apex of the bone. Designed to emulate Charles Schultz's Ross style, the jazz stripe is depicted as hand drawn with the help of jagged contrast stitching. A floating wood stock seen on the opposite side of the shoe to complete the Peanuts motif. This blends Peanuts Vans Vault Skate High reissue zip will be available this Saturday, May 13th via Black BlendsUS.com at 11 a.m. Pacific and at their Larchmont Village, Beverly Hills, Costa Mesa, Los Angeles, and San Diego locations. We're going to make a quick stop at New Balance and take a look at the New Balance CRT300 Deconstructed. This pair comes in a tan colorway with a single piece Nubuck upper featuring perforated detailing and a very minimalist build. I can't say I'm really a fan, but if you are, then they are available today at select retailers and retails only $95. Now we're going to make a quick stop at Adidas and what we have up on screen is a first look at the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0. This pair here is a triple white so I'm not too excited. We've seen too many variations of the Ultra Boost in a triple white or triple black so there's really nothing to get too thrilled about. But I will say that the updated prime knit pattern is a huge step forward and it's much improved. Also take note that on this pair Adidas chose to replace the translucent cage with a solid white. However that doesn't necessarily mean that they're dropping the translucent cages altogether. There's no exact date but this triple white version is expected to drop sometime in December. Nike's turn next, and we're going to start with the official images of the Nike ZoomX Vaporfly 4%. Just last weekend, Nike outfitted a number of runners with their new Nike ZoomX Vaporfly Elite, and Iliud Kipchog, and I know I got that completely wrong, just came 25 seconds away from breaking. While it's very unlikely we will ever see that Elite pair drop, Nike is releasing these, and to be 100 with you, I think they look dope and the colorway is great. The pairs will release on June 8th, but they're not going to be cheap. The retail will cost $275, and damn, I don't know if that's worth it. The whole thing behind the shoe is energy return for runners. And when you think of energy return, think of the bounce that you feel when you're wearing an Ultra Boost. Can these compete in comfort? I have no idea, but they do compete in appearance, and while well, they're getting their asses kicked on the pricing. Up next, we're going to talk some VaporMax talk, more specifically the Nike Air VaporMax Triple Black. So far we've seen the model drop in a Comme des Garçons triple black, a Nike Lab triple black, you had the option to Nike Idea triple black, and now it looks like a larger triple black release is on the way. The upper is a black fly knit which has some anthracite and dark grey detailing sitting on a smoky black Vapormax bubble. Dope, and June 20th is the date with $190 being the retail price. I don't remember if I gave you all the release date for the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 Red Metallic, so here's a couple new looks at the model. Originally released back in 2012, the model is making its return as part of Nike Sportswear's 20th anniversary celebration of the silhouette. I'm not sure where the rumor of these being limited came from, but they will be available in the same quantities as the other foams that have released this year, so don't worry about that. May 19th is the date, and $230 is the retail price. If you're a foam head, you might remember me mentioning that this holiday season we should be seeing the invisibility cloaks. Well, here's a first look. This is the only image that exists for now, but stay tuned for more. Last up for Nike, and courtesy of Soul Collector, we have a look at a very limited edition Mountain Dew Nike Kyrie 3 Care Kit. Care stands for Kyrie's Ankle Recovery Equipment, and while the shoe comes in a simple but clean white and green colorway, the packaging is too dope. Along with the shoes comes a Kyrie Highlight Reel loaded iPad, an x-ray of a broken ankle because that's what Kyrie does to his opponents, a first aid kit, an emergency phone, and five limited edition cans of Mountain Dew. Only 32 pairs of this set are being made and they won't be for sale, but some folks might be lucky enough to win them. How? I don't know. But Soul Collector is giving away a set or two or I don't know how many, so make sure you check them out and I'll keep you updated with any new info. Time for Jordan Brand, and let's start with the Just Dawn Air Jordan 2 Arctic Orange. If you missed last night's video on where these are dropping, then make sure you check it out for a full list of retailers. However, I just wanted to update everyone on the pricing. As I mentioned last night, the GS version is retailing for $350, but they will also come in preschool and toddler sizing, and the pricing is nuts. But if you got the cash and want to keep your little ones laced, the preschool pair will retail for $200 and the toddlers for $150. 
So squad, I don't remember exactly when, but about two months ago, me and P-Smurf broke some more news. We let the world know that the Air Jordan 11 Mellow PE will be releasing, and well, damn, we were right again, but today we get to see some first looks, and they're close to the Mellows, but not quite. As I mentioned, the pair will come in a gym red, white, and black colorway with a full red mesh upper with matching patent leather overlay. Jordan Brand started giving us the higher patent leather on last year's Space Jams, and that will continue with both these Gym Red 11s and the Black Friday Midnight Navy pair. The other notable difference is the Jumpman branding coming in black rather than white, which I suspect will be the same on the tongue as well. Anyway, this pair should be releasing December 16th, and retail is set at $220. Leave your thoughts on these in the comments below. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out!